Now you might be wondering how to exactly make a PPT on your mobile phone here using Canva. Well, this one is really easy. First things first is you want to go ahead and just basically install the Canva app. Now, if you're not aware yet, there's an official app that you can get on your mobile device, specifically on Android devices. So you just need to go ahead and open up Google Play Store, search for Canva, and install this on your device. Now, once you have this installed, let's go ahead and click on open. Now, this will require you to log in into your Canva account. Now, if you haven't logged in or you haven't created your account, go ahead and create one or log in. Now, once you have this create, uh, logged in, you want to go ahead and click on the plus button that you see at the bottom center of your screen. Let's go ahead and just press on it. Now, from here, we want to go and specify what type of presentation that we want to create. Now, you want to go and just type in the, uh, the top section here that says, what would you like to create here? Just type in presentation or something similar to presentation. Now, once you do search it, you need to choose the size. Now, there are different sizes for presentations. So you have mobile presentations, your usual 16 by 9 presentations, which what you usually see uh, for uh presentations like school presentations or whatnot or even corporate presentations so go and choose one, which one you want to use now for example let's go and choose 16 by 9. now once you have this created what we need to do next is we want to go and start designing our presentation so in this case you want to go and just add start adding elements adding your or you can even use the existing uh, templates in here let's for example let's go and choose project presentation here now, I'm assuming you already know the basics in here and how to uh, move uh, or add text. But just in case, let's go ahead and click on apply all pages first. So if you want to add certain elements like photos, uh, GIF, uh, GIFs, or any kind of that, well, you just need to go to elements and you can go and search the element that you want to add. Like if you want to add a flower, you can go and just add, uh, add in or type in flower in here, search for it. And you can go and choose what type of flower that you want to add in here. If you want to see more, you can go and click on see all. But let's go and choose or add or click on these, uh, this flower here. Let's go and add it at the top right. Now, if you're done, you can go and just uh, replace this, select this, or whatever. But if you're done, you can go and click on the X button. I see at the bottom right here. Now, if you want to add text, same thing. Just click on text here. You can go and choose the add text box option. And just uh, type in whatever you want. So, for example, I'm going to say hello. Just gonna erase the first text first, but once you're done, you can go and just exit this one. So and click on the uh, empty space here. And uh, by the way, if you want to uh, switch pages, now by the way, if if you're if you want to like zoom in, you can go and just use your two fingers here, select the text here, and you can go and just move it around as you can see right now. But yeah, let's go click on the X button at the bottom right again. Now, in here, you can go and just add your transitions as well by clicking on the plus button in between the text. For example, this one, let's go ahead and click on transition. And maybe I want to use one that says flow. So that's a sample of the transition. So now, by the way, if you're done, you can go and just start sharing this. Now, usually by clicking on the share button at the top right, we'll have the option to download, present, or invite people. But if you choose download here, you should have different options. Like, for example, you have PDF standard. Flat and PDF, uh, including uh, notes. Now, if you click on the drop down here, file type, you can go and choose the following. We have PPTX, MP4 video, JPEG, PNG. But since we want to create a PowerPoint presentation, you can go and choose PPTX here. Click on download. And that will be downloaded into your phone. And you can go and just share this to your friends or send this via email or whatever you want to do. As I can see right now, that's the file name. You can go and choose whichever platform you want to share. Like, for example, let's go and just share this on Gmail. And this will be automatically attached in our Gmail, as you can see right now. You're going to specify who you want to send this to. But that's about it. Hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.